Welcome back to my 545 challenge that I did this week. This is my wrap up video that I just wanted to sort of walk you guys through and a little bit say thanks to everybody that joined in. This time we had several people join in. We had Angie doing some sketch noting. We had Josh Stock doing some blog posts. We had Andrew Easton doing his vlog posts. He had five vlog posts in a row and let me tell you, that is not an easy one to do because that was my first one. And we had Stephanie Crawford going out for walks uh, or hikes. She brought her family along most nights and that was kind of a cool different one to get outside and get reinvigorated. And then we have Mr. Destine. Uh, he hasn't started yet, but he just listened to our podcast and kind of posted today that he's excited to do a five for five challenge. Uh, really liked the well-played podcast. So check that one out. Uh, that was with Stephanie and I doing that one kind of about like taking risks and getting out there as teachers not necessarily as students uh, that'll be a, a later be episode to you. this 5 for 5 challenge has been great and I loved having you guys along for the ride uh, I think if you watched my 2.5 video where I was halfway through the week I just really loved what this one brought out it brought people together it brought people in my life that I that are important to me. So I got to see my neighbor. Uh, I got to go out with some friends. And then uh, like later in the week, I got to invite over my brother's fiance and their two, two girls. And that was just awesome to cook for them. We did these pizzas. We did these gluten-free pizzas that were amazing. Uh, the recipe was fantastic. Uh, we did like this noodle dish that was great. We did a gluten-free bread later in the week too for, for some friends. That's kind of what I really want to talk about. Later in the week, the, the last the last day, day five, I did a gluten-free bread that I brought in for my team. One of my teammates, Kim Fultz, she doesn't eat any gluten, so I made this delicious almond bread that was so awesome. It was kind of, kind of cornbread-esque and super easy to make and super fun, but uh, I really love topping off the experience with bringing together my team and doing something for my team because I love my team, sixth grade, you are awesome. Uh, so really ultimately this challenge is just about getting outside your comfort zone and doing something every day, uh, committing to that challenge. And I absolutely love these five for five challenges. They really like open my eye to what's possible when you, when you commit yourself. Like you do end up having the time when you make that time. So. Uh, I really suggest that others of you get out there and try the 5 for 5 challenge yourself. Uh, put it on yourself, you can start any day, anytime you want. Tweet the hashtag 5545 five, and uh, I would love to hear you and support you and your 5 for 5 challenge. I will be doing another one shortly. Um, I thought quickly too, I would just tell you some of the inspirations I had with these cookbooks. I had Dennis the Prescott, he's an Instagrammer loves taking photography of his food. Uh, I picked this one up, Nick Davis suggested this one, so I picked it up, and this is where the noodle dish came from. My absolute favorite cookbook is Nom Nom Paleo. Check that out. I'm gonna link all of these down below. If you could pick them up, that'd be awesome. Uh, they'll definitely change your kitchen, change your experience. Uh, it also helps my channel out a little bit if you click those affiliate links. Um, here we have another Nom Nom Paleo book. I love both of them, they're fantastic. Uh, and then I did this Andy Rickard, he's a chef out in Portland, I believe. He does all sorts of authentic Thai food and really gets us to learn how to make that Thai food. Thai food is one of my favorites. It's just so delicious and it's different. So it's really fun to have people over and kind of give them that culinary experience of some delicious Thai food that they might not have experienced elsewhere. All in all, great challenge. I'm actually gonna do one more day, so I guess it's a uh, six for five <laughs> challenge for me. I'm gonna bake some really delicious um, molasses cookies for my students. I, uh, they, they knew I was doing this challenge and they wanted to have something for me, so I'm gonna make these molasses cookies. I told them they're one of my favorites. Uh, I've never done this recipe, so I'm gonna try this out. And I hope that you guys think about joining the next five for five and if you could punch that subscribe button so you can join this community post below I would love to hear sort of how your five for five is going these uh, comment sections down below are a great like 
almost like a forum where we can kind of exchange ideas, support each other. So put it down below. Love to hear from you. That's all I got for today. Looking forward to more vlogs and posts next week. So watch out for those. Until next time, I'm Michael Matera. Take care. Oh,